Hi, it's Danny Lyons from We Be 108, and welcome to Dine With Us. Today, we're featuring the Eli's Restaurant Group, and of course, they're famous for Eli's on Whitney and Hamden, my favorite place to be. And across the street, it's Eli's Brick Oven Pizza. Everybody's been to Eli's on the Hill in Brantford. Now we want to take it to Eli's newest restaurant. It's Eli's Tavern on Daniel Street, right in the middle of the bustling downtown Milford. So we're ready to go inside and check out this New York-style gastro pub and meet Scott, the manager, and give you a little tour. I think Leo's going to cook something up for us, too. Let's go. Hey, we're inside the completely remodeled Eli's Tavern at 21 Daniel Street in downtown Milford. What a beautiful place. Eli's Tavern maintains the traditional pub atmosphere, adding a dash of rustic and a pinch of modern accents to give you the best of both worlds. There's not a bad seat in the house, whether you're at Tavern's signature spacious horseshoe bar, the cozy window seating, or the elevated booths along the wall. And with the Tavern's savory, mouth-watering menu, you simply can't go wrong. Hey, Adam, how are you? Uh, how Good you to see you. Today? Everything's great. Yeah, Just doing have well. a little water doing today. Well. Thank you. So happy to be at Eli's Tavern in downtown Milford. The place is beautiful. The bar is fantastic. Eli's Tavern's bar features a large selection of craft beers on tap, poured from one-of-a-kind copper draft systems, culminating in a bank of 36 taps. There's an extensive wine by the glass selection and an ever-changing list of handcrafted cocktails as well. Whether you're having a business meeting, gathering with friends, or going out with that special someone, Eli's Tavern is the place to be. And it's the place to be seen, too. Hey, it's Scott Gale. Danny Lyons, how you doing? Good to see you. Good General see you Manager well. at Eli's Tavern here yes, in Milford. The uh, place looks great. It's got that pub feel, but I appreciate that. somewhat modern. Yeah, the, modern the nice chic flair. Is what like yeah. to call it, industrial okay. chic. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Um, we're excited about trying some of the food here. I'm a big fan of Eli's. As you know, we've well, probably first met at Eli's uh, on Whitney, Whitney. in Hamden. Yeah. Um, and I know Chef Leo is here cooking. He is. So we're excited about trying some of your signature dishes. Tell me about what some of the promotions that go on. Yeah, you know, we're starting to do some really exciting stuff here. Uh, Monday through Thursday, uh, almost every night of the week we have something going on. Uh, Monday nights, we just started doing service industry night. Uh, so if you're part of the industry, a uh, bartender, a server, even if you're a hairstylist, just someone that's in the service industry, uh, you know, we're catering to, to that crowd. We want to uh, help out, give them a little bit of a break, a little bit of a discount, so great drink specials, great uh, food specials. Uh, Tuesday night, just started doing Dollar Oyster Night, been really successful for us. And uh, Wednesday night, which is this evening, is uh, Ladies Night. We have a $20 menu, uh, some great food selections, you get $5 martinis, uh, five dollar glasses of wine and five dollar glasses of champagne as well. I love uh, it. And it's been it's been fantastic so far. Is there music at Eli's Tavern? There is. Uh, Friday nights and Saturday nights we have a live DJ. Uh, certainly brings a very large crowd. I can yeah. imagine. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a fun night. And it's a large enough place to hold yeah. enough people. Yeah. Uh, we're very excited about getting back to the kitchen. Danny, how are you? Nice Always to good see to see you. you. you too, buddy. How My you favorite been? chef at Eli's. Well, that's good to hear. And we're at Eli's Tavern on Daniel Street in Milford. I've got the menu. Okay, that's a key. I always start out with a, a Philly egg roll. Philly egg roll. Can okay. we can we make Absolutely. one of them? Oh, that'd Absolutely. be great. We'll set up here. So what are what are these? Uh, these are Japanese wonton wrappers. Wonton wrappers. Rolls, okay. Skins, whatever you want to call them. So you lay one down and you put a piece of cheese. This is a regular okay. American regular cheese. Regular old American cheese. Dude, it's an egg wash. Egg wash. Okay. Egg roll. Okay. And that helps it adhere, right? Absolutely. That 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 holds it all together. Then we put a little bit of the. Philly cheese steak meat there we in go. there. It's already set. So then you get Beautiful. your meat and your cheese. That's a good portion of meat, isn't it? It's a mini sub, I guess you could call it. And then you just roll it up. Hence the term egg and roll. Egg roll. <laughs> okay. I don't know who thought of it, but it seems to work. What we do is we roll it in a little cornstarch to keep it from sticking. Okay. How many of these do you think you make a night? Oh, I make probably 150 a day. Wow. And on the weekends, sometimes 300. And we could sell them all. While our Philly egg rolls are, are down, anyway. they're going to cook for six minutes. Yep. So it's it's a it, Eli's Tavern. It's a gastro pub. What, gastro does, pub. Yeah, what, well, is that, what does that mean? It's kind of like we want you to have more than one thing. Okay. We want you to have more than one drink, like different sample different beers, sample different plates. We have a lot of small plates we're doing, small Brussels sprouts, the, the uh, cheesesteak egg rolls, pizzas, things you can share. You come with a group of friends. Got it. And then you try two, three beers, 
couple of different cocktails we have, you know, different things, Brooklyn Lemonade, uh, the Milford Mule, all kinds of things okay. that we homemade, crafted cocktails. They take the time with their nice, fresh ingredients, make things great. You so know? you want to really be sociable and, and try a lot of different things. It's Wait until word. you try these. These are okay. so good. And what we're going to do is we're going to just cut one in half. You can see the cheese. Now, is this one Run. order? One order, yes. This is an order? Well, wow. That's why I said it's meant that's to be shared. And that's what we're trying shared. to do. Get people to share things. Do I have then to? Then we put a little chipotle aioli down on the plate. And that's all made by you? Oh, yeah. Everything's handmade here. We don't try to buy too much right. out of store. We call it a scratch kitchen. Look at that. And then a little more chipotle aioli on the top. Beautiful presentation. Cross scallions. A little garnish. And that's it. That's There's beautiful. Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. We'll come on down and check out the burgers we make here. Okay, toast our bun. A little, little fresh butter. Put the bun on there. Get a little. What kind of bun is that? That's a brioche roll. We get every beautiful. day made fresh. Sent in every day. Replaced the whole G Bakery on Grand Avenue in New Haven. Okay. Great place. They're looking from, again, Scratch Bakery. Well, this is a bacon egg burger, hence the We're term grilling eggs. We've it up. a little mini pan here, mm -hmm. which is cute in its own self. Leo, I can imagine when the place is really busy uh, that you are nonstop back here. Nonstop. What it is is, is we have this new ticketless system. We've entered the 21st century, and all the tickets come in on this computer model you see here. And as they come in, tell you what temperature the burger is, any modifications the customer would like made to the burger, and just, you don't have all this paper flying around. So it's communication from them to us without words. Without words. They tell us exactly so what So you're they want. quiet back here no, the whole I'm time? Well, they were quiet, but you know, it's, it was the, I think the owners wanted that. Okay, so we'll try our egg burger here. We're gonna crack that egg right into there. Let it cook up a little bit. And again, the key to good cooking in any case is the season. Salt and pepper is the key to everything. Everything. So here's this uh, sriracha tomato jam I was telling you about. We put a little of that on the bun, and that gives it a really sweet, you put a sugar, sriracha, what's called Oleg Sambal, it's another Asian uh, chili sauce. When we cook the tomatoes and onions down for about three hours, it gives it up. It's like a, it's like a marinara sauce, mm -hmm. but like a 23rd century marinara sauce. Beautiful. So now we got our egg cooking our burger, and we're going to pull that off. Now, what's the temperature of that burger That's right now? It's going to be medium rare right medium now. Medium rare, okay. Well, you can tell just by looking again, at it, or how long? Customer's choice. We'll do it any way uh -huh, you want, sure. from rare to well done. So now we have our liquid cheese that just comes squirting out. And it wasn't a good one. See how it is? Beautiful. It stays right on the Wow. Bottom, and it's ready to go. We okay, the egg is ready. It looks like sunny side up. Let me set up. Could be a little. Could be a lot of juice on this burger. And we flip it over, and we want to show that nice, beautiful egg on the burger Look there. So we lay it out to the customer like that. It's beautiful. And she's ready to go. Wonderful. Ta-da! Looks now great. We're gonna try one more. We're gonna call it s'mores in a jar. So we're ready for dessert already. We've had our our uh, Philly egg roll. And our bacon egg burger. Bacon egg burger. With our sriracha tomato jam. And now we're going to have with s'mores. And, and now we want something sweet. Something sweet. And something different. And something that uh, I guess you invented. Yes. It's and an it's original. S'mores in a jar. Can't take credit for the burger that was Ray Kroc or Louis okay. Lunch or something. You're right. We can, There's we can an always, argument about that all the time. twist it up one way. This, this is definitely this is, I didn't come up with s'mores, but I took it into, I took it indoors, out from the campfire. We know how to do it on the campfire. Right. Okay. So, so what, what are we doing? Take a little little fudge sauce and we just put it right in the jar okay and then we take our graham crackers of course layer them in there okay and we put a couple now of is this also right for in. sharing or is this, this kind is of thing that everybody well. wants to eat on their own we take some nice milk chocolate we put that in there little mm. pieces and then this this is the trick we take pieces of chocolate cake and we stick it in there so it, well, everything kind of comes together i can't together. wait to see how this is going to cook right kind of Kind of sticks together I'll and smashed to in other. there. And you put a couple more graham crackers on the top. And a little more chocolate sauce. You have a sweet this tooth? Is, yeah, this is not for the faint of heart. No here. kidding. A few more marshmallows. What, as much as you can squeeze in there. Right huh? the top, and it's the right? same way every time? Oh, yeah. The layer is exactly layer is, the same. Well, nothing's exact. Okay, you know, but you're. The world's spinning, things are okay. moving. Okay. You know, you're moving nonstop. Exactly. Now we're going to pop it in the oven. Okay, it goes in the oven. Yep. Great. 
take about a minute in the oven. How hot's the oven? 400 degrees. Okay. Made one for Leo, one, one for, for Danny. One for each of us. Beautiful. You know, we do have a camera person here too. She's probably going to be interested. Gabby is going to actually help us eat these as well. That's great. Gabby, say hi. Hi, how you doing? Good, doing great. So that's, uh, that's what the tavern's all about. We have uh, our other properties, Eli's Restaurant on the Hill in Brantford, the Eli's on Whitney in Hamden, and the Brick Oven Pizza across the street. This is our newest venture, or something, just something different. The owners gave us carte blanche to come up with a new menu, a new concept, just, just, just to have fun, you know? We have a nice raw bar selection every day. Come in, you got three, four different oyster right. choices. In summertime, we do uh, what's called the seafood tower. It's layers of clams, shrimp, oysters, lobster, tail, uh, ceviche. Get any combination you want. You share, to get to share it with your people. Come off the boat, come in after four, you know, after the sun goes down, have a nice meal here. We're gonna go for right, our let's go in the now. Oven. Let's go. So you're on the campfire and you're sitting around here. Oh, uh, look at the way they roast it on the top. And I love it. Marshmallows brown up on the top. And you get that little melted chocolate on the inside and your graham crackers. And what we do is we just put a little safety uh, napkin around there to let, uh -huh. you know, so they can hold it sure. so it's not too hot because that jar is really hot coming out of that oven at 400 so, degrees. So that is a wow factor. That comes by and, and the people at the exactly. table that are just starting out and saying, what is what that? Is that and it's, that's there you go. s'mores like in a, a jar. You're going you're gonna to save room. You want, you're you definitely going to want to try it. that. That's that looks good. Had, we love it. We're trying. Danny, always Leo, a pleasure, buddy. You see always the guy who's passionate about what he does in the kitchen. You're going to love Eli's Tavern in downtown Milford. Come on down. Come on down. Try yes, it all. Try shot. everything on the menu. Thanks, Danny. You're the best, man.